My name is Kishwani. That's K-E-S-H-W-A-N-I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the study manual for the T's. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problems that we are about to solve are the ones that you will find on page number 93. Please come to it. Page number 93 and today is our lesson number 41. Yesterday, and if you have not watched yesterday's video, it is imperative that you do so first. Stop this video immediately if you have not watched yesterday's video. Watch, watch day number 40 because yesterday we discussed the notion of independent variable and dependent variable. We, we do not have a luxury of repeating everything that we learned yesterday. We are simply going to solve the problems. But as I said, if you are not quite sure as to what it means and how to how to uh, write it out and so forth in terms of mathematical symbols, uh, you have watched yesterday's videos. Practice problems is what we are going to do, one and two. So here's the first one. Practice problems. Number one. It says the amount of studying amount of studying amount of studying impacted impacted her score. What would we surmise from that statement? Amount of study it's the amount of studying rather impacted her score. Well that's another way of saying this is another way of saying how much how much or rather Her score, her score was influenced by the amount of study she did. Her score was influenced, her score was influenced by, was influenced by the amount of studies, amount of study she did. Another way of saying the same thing would be her score dependent. How do you say dependent? How do you spell dependent? Depend, depend. Her score depended on the amount of study she did. But there you go. Her score depended on her score. Well, let's put it in present tense. Her score. Her score depends on, you see, it depends on what? Her score depends on, what does it depend on? It depends on the amount of study she did. So the amount of study dictates what kind of score she gets. The amount of study is going to determine what kind of score she gets. So the amount of study is the dependent variable. And, it, and this guy, her score depends on, her score is the dependent variable. Her score is the dependent variable. That's all. That's all there is. Let's do the next one, shall we? Let's do the next one. Number two on the same page. What effect, what effect What effect is the treatment having on the two groups? What effect is the treatment having on the two groups? What do you suppose the person assumes, the person who is asking the question, in their mind, what do you suppose, which one do you suppose is the independent variable, which one do you suppose they consider as the dependent variable? That's what we are trying to ascertain. Let's find out, shall we? What effect is the treatment having on the two groups? Well, another way of saying the same thing is that, what the person is trying to imply here, what the person is trying to imply here is that the level of effect, level of effect, of the treatment of 
depends on the type of group type of group the treatment is given to the level of effect what we what we're trying to say here what this question is trying to say here is that the level of effect in the mind of the person who is asking the question they, they are assuming that the level of effect of the treatment the effect depends on the group the effect the effect depends on the group the effect depends on the group well if this guy depends on that guy then that guy the group is the independent variable is the independent variable and the effect is the dependent variable because the effect depends on something it depends on the type of group that the treatment is given to the treatment might be some sort of a drug and the, the, the efficacy of the drug uh, depends on uh, the type of group and the group might be maybe maybe it has one effect on males the drug that we're talking about the drug in question has probably one effect on the male maybe it has another effect a different effect on female or maybe the nature of the drug is such that it has one effect on white people it has another effect on the black people sometimes that happens where some drugs uh, different ethnicity react differently maybe the drug has one effect on the adults and maybe it has slightly different effect on children or maybe the nature of the drug is such that it has one effect on the people who are of normal weight and it has entirely different effect on the people who are obese so here the type of group, whether they are bees or normal, whether they are male or female, whether they are uh, children or adults, the type of group is the independent variable and the effect is the dependent variable because effect will depend on, uh, uh, on, on the group receiving the drug, to whom the, the drug is given. Do you understand? I'll see you tomorrow, okay? That was it. That was, that's all I have to say for today. What do we have for tomorrow? Tomorrow, let me turn the page, we'll find out in a second. Uh, on page number 93, on page number 94 rather, we are on page 93 right now. On page number 94, we are on 93 right now. On page number 94, it's a very simple, straightforward problem. There is not much really to do. So tomorrow, when we come, we're going to do the problem that you see on page number 95, which has to do with pie charts. And what we're going to learn tomorrow is how to come up with the pie chart with the raw data. What, what we're going to do actually is going to be the reverse process of what is presented in the book. In the, present, in the book, actually, they give you the pie chart and uh, the rest we have to analyze as to what it translates into how many people got a given grade. We're going to do the same problem in the reverse order. We're going to start out with the raw data and we're going to learn how to draw the pie chart from that. But that will come tomorrow. Okay? I'll see you then. Bye now.